a beggar girl envies the rich and dreams of living their life. After witnessing a crime, she enrolls in an elite school and hopes to change her life for the better, but becomes a victim of bullying. Soon on her defense becomes one of the rich guys, ready to do anything for the poor beauty. Cheong Dam International High School is a place where study the children of wealthy parents who consider the poor to be dirt under their feet. They enjoy the posh life, brand name clothes, and luxury cars, believing that they deserve it all, even though they haven't worked a minute to earn money. The middle class constantly criticizes their behavior and holds mass demonstrations outside their educational institution but they pay no attention to the protesters demanding equal rights. Bak Gina is a cynical and spoiled rich girl, the daughter of the school chairman. The girl has leadership skills and is able to lead the crowd. A representative of the committee calls her to a dialogue because Jenna incites the schoolchildren to bully the poor admitted under the Equal Education Program. The man promises her a just punishment, but a crowd of schoolchildren bursts into the office, ready to take the blame. Soon the girl named Kim Hyun appears on the school's doorstep, interested in all the high school students paying attention to her. Three months before these events, Hyun is a simple and modest girl from a low-income family, terribly jealous of the rich. She dreams of living the same life and is willing to do anything to get that chance. Trying to secure a good future for herself, Hyun pretends to be a student at the local university to get a part-time job as a tutor. When she arrives at a rich man's house, she meets the mother of Nain, a girl who is enrolled at Cheong Dam International School. Her mother is skeptical of beggar Hyun, but decides to hire her as a math tutor because studying at a special school requires not only connections and money, but also knowledge. In the evening, Hyun works at a local store and thanks her friend for her glasses and student ID, which allowed her to trick a rich woman and get a job as a tutor. The girl sleeps little and studies well, but the teacher warns her that it will take 3.5 million won to travel to New Zealand to study. The girl does not have that kind of money and asks to be put on a list of low-income people so that she can go to study for free. The next morning, Hyun goes to her first class with Nain and notices that the rich girl doesn't want to learn, trying on outfits and matching handbags. The modest girl is shocked to learn that each item in her closet costs several million won. She believes that happiness is not about money, but Nain conducts an experiment on her greed. The rich girl is ready to give a 5 million worth collector's purse, but does not do so, convinced that everyone would dream of being in her place. Realizing that the world is cruel and unfair, Hyun sets her sights on becoming rich and successful. While Nain is out of the room, she tries on her purse and takes a picture of it, posting it on social media. The next morning, Classmates asked Hyun why she hid her rich parents and pretended to be a beggar while trying to go to school for free. Not understanding what this is all about, she checks social media and realizes that people have mistaken her for a rich girl. Fearing exposure and shame, the girl confirms that she is from a rich family and owns handbags worth millions of won. In an attempt to confirm this, Hyun goes to Nain's house to take more photos of her in her clothes to confirm her elite status. In the evening, the elite schoolchildren gather the poor students by the pool to find out who told the committee representative about them and their bullying. The humble schoolchildren won't confess despite threats, so Jenna decides to punish the rich classmates. Having a better financial position and great respect, she forces the guys to go to the pool and feel humiliated. One of the poor guys tries to stand up for the same schoolmates, but Jenna doesn't let him say anything, because beggars have no rights since birth. Hyun continues to gain popularity and envy among her classmates. The girls begin to wonder why she hid her financial well-being earlier and why she appears at school in chic clothes. Remembering a friend's story about one of her classmates, Hyun says that her parents are rich but do not spoil her. The girl earns money on her own and knows how to appreciate it all. Having learned that with 10,000 subscribers you can earn on advertising, the schoolgirl decides to promote her page in social networks. During a lesson at an elite school, the teacher notices that one of the schoolgirls is sleeping. No one dares to disturb her, since it is Jenna. The teacher decides to admonish the girl, but the rich girl humiliates her as the woman has no decent education and a meager salary. Hyun keeps coming early when Nain is not at home to take pictures in her clothes and shoes. The girl posts photos on social media, but the number of followers grows too slowly. 
Trying to find something to catch the audience's attention, she finds Nain's mother's gold necklace as well as a school uniform from the elite Cheong Dam school. The girl decides to take a few pictures wearing the expensive uniform when she suddenly hears that Nain has returned home. The rich girl tries to find the uniform, causing Hyin to hide under the bed. Having discovered the tutor's cell phone, Nain exposes Hyin, but promises not to tell her mother anything if the girl complies with her requests. Becoming a victim of blackmail, the poor girl becomes a slave practicing to keep the secret. She has to do homework instead of Nain, carry things in coffee, and take pictures of the rich girl with her friends. The blackmail goes too far and the errands take away all her free time, but Hyin is afraid of exposure because the rich girl's mother has to pay generously for the tutoring. A couple of days later, the girl has a crucial exam coming up that will allow her to enter university. Nain calls and asks her to come to Cheongdam High School urgently, as she has forgotten the text for her speech to the jury. Finding herself in a difficult position, Hyun complies with the request and arrives at the high school. Overhearing Nain's conversation with her friends, she realizes that the girl deceived her and did everything to humiliate her and remind her once again that Hyin is a beggar and will not be able to fix it. The girl cries in the restroom and meets a poor student of the school, whose name is the same as hers. Noticing that she too is the victim of ridicule, Hyin decides to take revenge on Nain. The poor girl storms into the interview and pours a bucket of water on the rich girl, reminding her that the essence of a person is more important than material wealth. As a result of the bullying, one of the poor students leaves the school, taking the blame. He did not report all of this to the committee representative, but he was the victim of bullying by the rich, and as a result he decided to leave. A girl with the same name as Hyan is blamed for what happened, but she hides it because the committee representative failed to punish the rich people. After Hyan poured a bucket of water on Nain, her mother came to the school and promised to break the poor girl's life. The principal of the high school is not happy with the situation and declares that he will not accept Nain as he does not want to ruin the image of the school. Hyun's school learns about the situation. The girl will not only be punished by expulsion from the school, but will also have to pay moral compensation to Nain's family. The schoolmates learn that their classmate was only pretending to be rich and as a result she is bullied and ridiculed. The rich people happen to notice her social media account but Hyun blocks it to avoid being discussed. Despite this, schoolchildren continue to humiliate her and Nain's mother threatens to sue her. In an attempt to rectify the situation, she meets the principal of a prestigious school and asks her to forgive her. She realizes that the only way to solve everything is to let Nain enroll in the school. The principal makes good money and is concerned about the prestige of the school, so she refuses Hyun, thinking that this will be a good lesson for her. Crying, she hides in the restroom and meets a rich guy volunteer hiding in the girl's restroom. He offers her help and helps her sneak onto the school grounds at night. Knowing that the principal drives a red car, Hyun waits to meet him, but the man leaves in another car. After waiting until nightfall, Sure witnesses a schoolgirl with the same name jumping from the roof. Looking at the roof, the girl realizes that it was no accident because someone was there. The school principal learns about the incident from his assistant and realizes that someone helped the schoolgirl by pushing her off the roof. He doesn't want journalists to find out about it and disgrace the prestigious school, so he orders to put everything in such a light, as if the girl did everything by herself because of her difficult studies and depression. The aide promises to straighten things out, but warns that there was another girl who witnessed the incident. The next morning, Hyun returns home from the hospital and meets Nain's mother. The girl realizes that this threatens to be another scandal, but it turns out that the woman came to talk to her. The principal has changed his mind about Nain and is willing to accept her into the school. The rich girl's mother offers to keep the conflict quiet if her former tutor will put in a good word for her daughter. After receiving a gift from a woman, Hyun avoids communicating with her father blaming him for her poor financial situation. Having put the phone on the charger, the girl learns that the school principal has written to her, who is ready to accept her under a special social program. He is ready for everything, but only on the condition that Hyun will keep quiet and will not tell anyone about the fact that the schoolgirl was pushed off the roof because of her poor parents. Meanwhile, the girl who fell from the roof survived but is in a coma. 
her mother has custody of the girl, and a beggar boy expelled from the school visits her to find out the details of what happened. Duan is suspiciously intense about the girl who fell from the roof. At the same time, a volunteer gives a tour to a new student and tells her about the hierarchy within the school. Jenna is in charge of everything, and no one dares to say a word to her otherwise the rich girl will humiliate a person until he leaves the school. The school is in chaos and the rich are bullying the poor, but the principal does not pay attention to it. He doesn't like the poor students at the school since they don't pay tuition, but has to tolerate it because of the special social program. Haiying leaves the school and the girls rebuke her, not for wanting to be rich, but for being afraid to admit that she is poor. Upon learning that she is transferring to an elite school, the girls envy her and don't understand how a beggar is so lucky. After receiving an expensive school uniform from Maine's mother, Hyane spends all her savings to buy matching shoes. At the mall, she accidentally bumps into a woman wearing a cap and discovers a note in her bag exposing that she witnessed a crime and sold out to attend an elite school. After forgetting the box in the restroom, Hyane loses her shoes but notices the same ones on Jenna. Assuming she stole them, the girl grabs the rich girl by the hair and decides to beat her up as punishment for stealing. Shortly before being in the toilet, Jenna bought the exact same shoes and had a fight with her father's mistress. When she met Hyane, she became the victim of a ridiculous accident, but the poor girl didn't know about it, and as a result, the two girls fought. Hyane is stronger that's why took away her shoes and returned home while Jenna promised to do everything to take revenge on her and turn the life of the new schoolgirl into a living hell. Meanwhile, the headmaster's son sneaks into his office to steal money from the safe, but can't find the password to the safe. Duong takes a few photos of Haiyan's profile, thinking that the girl's name and face are too familiar to him, and then goes to a nightclub to have fun. The next morning, Haiyan goes to an elite school with high hopes and expectations. Here she also meets a fellow volunteer and gets acquainted with Duan. The rich man reacts strangely to the girl and grabs her hand, offering to talk in private. After getting rid of the volunteer, she agrees to go after Duan and leaves him her cell phone number. Back at the school building, she accidentally bumps into the girl on the stairs and realizes that her face is all too familiar. She then opens her locker and finds the exact same shoes as hers realizing that she mistakenly attacked Jenna, but now she is out for revenge. In class, she stumbles and falls because of her uncomfortable shoes. The students do not help her, but instead surround her in order to beat her up and avenge the offended Jenna. Fleeing, Haiyang goes to the school principal's office and asks him to protect her. The man reminds her that he took her on a blat in exchange for her silence, but he doesn't have to solve minor problems with her classmates. He asks her to do it on her own and sends the girl back, but she also has a choice and the option of giving up her studies at a prestigious school and returning to a life of poverty. Hyen tries to lead the school through the window, but Jenna meets her after which the girls are surrounded by a crowd of high school students. Recognizing Jenna as Korea's most powerful teenager, Hyen realizes it's too late to retreat and hits her in the face with her head before fleeing. A mob of high school students chase after Hyen but she is helped into hiding by one of the poor students. Shin, who works in the art room, not only saves the girl from the pursuit, but also gives her shoes after noticing the wounds on her feet. Realizing that not only she but also Shin will be in trouble, Haiyan decides to leave. While hiding in the school, she sees a crowd of students and writes a message to Duan, begging him to save her. Soon the crowd surrounds the girl to beat her up, but she starts recording them on her phone promising to tell the principal about the bullying at school. The rich girls are not afraid of this as they know they will not be punished. Finding herself in a desperate situation, she jumps from the second floor and falls right into her friend's arms. After class, Jenna goes to dinner with her father and meets his mistress. The girl is uncomfortable with her presence, but it turns out that her father's mistress is pregnant and he plans to marry her. Meanwhile, Duan takes care of Haiyan and helps to treat her wounds. He is ready to become her protector, but only on the condition that the girl will tell about what she saw that fateful night. As it turns out, the girl with the same name who fell from the roof was his girlfriend, and he wants to know the name of the criminals who pushed her. Haiyan promises to give the name of the criminals, 
but first Tuma must help her and protect her from a mob of rich schoolboys. The next morning, the couple shows up at the school and hold hands. The everyone realize that Duan is dating her and she must not be offended, otherwise the boy will complain to his father and the principal will kick them out of the prestigious school. The rich girls decide to be friend with Hyun and invite her to a party where they can chat and get to know each other better. Hyun hesitates to go to the party and tells her friend about it. She convinces the girl to agree, but she needs an evening gown to go. Not having a few million won to buy it, she borrows the dress from Maine, promising to introduce her to rich girls. Showing up at the party, Hyun faces bullying from the other schoolgirls. They push her, but the girl tries to fall as gently as possible so as not to stain someone else's dress. One of the beauties offers to help, but ends up dropping Hyun on the floor once more. As it turns out, she is a friend of Jenna, who showed up at the party and it was all a trap for the poor girl dating Duan. Jenna goes through some heavy family drama because her father's mistress is pregnant and expecting a baby. Upon returning home, the girl learns that her mother has gotten drunk with grief. The woman is not allowed to do so because of taking pills, as a result of which Jenna's mother ends up in the hospital. The morning after the party, Hyen asks her father to lend her 8 million won to reimburse her for the cost of the ruined dress. Her father and brother are shocked by the request, as their monthly income is 10 times less than that amount. Hiding from her family in her room, the girl receives a threatening letter from Maine and realizes that she has exactly one month to reimburse the cost of the dress. Last night started out well, but ended up being a nightmare for Hyen. It turns out that everyone at that party was invited by Jenna, and she lured the poor schoolgirl in on purpose. Taking a bottle of wine, she poured it on her dress to finally ruin it and humiliate the girl, after which Hyen was thrown into the street. Upon learning of what happened, Duan asks to leave the girl alone, but Jenna ignores his request, causing the rich schoolboys to fight. In the evening, Saman notices Hyen and decides to follow her. Noticing the girl in the company of a suspicious man, the guy pounces on him with fists. It turns out that this is a buyer who decided to take a few things off his hands in order to pay for them as cheaply as possible. Hyen is disappointed by Saman's behavior. Because of him, he had to make a discount, and there is no money. Realizing the difficult situation, the guy drives her home on his motorcycle and tells about the troubles of life of rich teenagers. After returning home, Hyen tries to find a job, but none of the options will allow her to earn the missing amount in just a month. The next morning, the girl meets with a teacher who recommends that she participate in a preferential housing program for poor students. At the same time, she continues to be the object of ridicule as students stick humiliating notes on her back, each time reminding her that she is a beggar. Jenna keeps harassing the girl and threatening her, but Hyen stands firm in front of her. The poor girl realizes that something terrible is going on in the rich girl's life, since she spends so much time and effort on her. Jenna is not ready to discuss it and offers a deal. Hyen has a week to leave school of her own accord, and in return Jenna will reimburse the cost of the ruined dress. Hyen thinks for a few days and doesn't know if she should accept the girl's offer. When she meets Duan, she asks him for financial help, but the rich son of the headmaster is tired of the constant requests. Hyen has nothing in common with his beloved, despite having the same name, which annoys him. He asks for the name of the culprit, but it turns out that Hyen saw almost nothing and doesn't know the person who pushed the schoolgirl off the roof. She saw the girl's silhouette, but didn't see her face, so she can't help Duan. Shin notices that Hyen doesn't eat lunch, trying to save money, and invites her to his fine arts room. The girl not only helps the poor schoolgirl eat, but also offers a way to earn 8 million won in just a few days. As it turns out, Hyen can borrow or earn money from one particular high school student. He is very shy but rich, so he can pay generously for the services of a girl who can do anything for money. At the same time, it becomes clear that Shin is a girl of rich parents, but for some reason is diligently hiding it from her new friend. In the evening, Hyen meets a rich guy and receives 3 million won in exchange for agreeing to take a few photos in different outfits. The girl is humiliated by such images and demands, but money is more important than dignity, so she agrees to anything to avoid paying back this amount in the future. Duan goes to the hospital and visits the girl in coma. 
he dreams that she will recover and feels guilty about what happened, as the day before her fall from the roof they had a fight. After a humiliating photo shoot, the guy offers high in another 5 million won if she agrees to change into one last outfit in his presence. Realizing that there is no other way to earn such money, the poor girl agrees to the terms of the guy, who turns out to be a real bad guy. Knowing the date and time of the fall from the roof, Duan hacks into her father's computer in order to see the recordings from the video cameras. Finding that all the records for that day are erased, the guy realizes that the school principal knows the name of the perpetrator, but carefully hides it. Jenna's friend dreams of marrying her boyfriend, but doesn't suspect that he's keeping secrets and cheating on her regularly. Remembering the tragic night, Hyen doesn't sleep well as she is still hiding some details. A girl with the same name as her comes to her senses after the fall and gives her the chain she managed to snatch from the perpetrator who pushed her down. Jenna's stepmother arrives at the school to meet her former co-workers. Noticing the girl nearby, the pregnant woman provokes her into a scandal and humiliates her. The stepmother got pregnant by a rich businessman for a reason and wants to give birth to an heir in order to seize all the property and throw Jenna out on the street. Seeing all this, Hyen helps the girl and takes her to an empty auditorium. Jenna takes this as self-pity, but the poor girl wasn't going to sympathize with her. Despite the situation, Hyen is still in a more dire situation, but she earned money and paid back her dress debt, feeling free for the first time. Starting life at the elite school with a clean slate, she tries to be quiet and not draw attention to herself. Duan once again gives cause for gossip and takes the girl's hand then offers to talk in private. He asks her to help him expose the real culprit and pretend to be a couple, but the girl firmly refuses. After that, she receives a video from the blackmailer and learns that someone else was in the photo studio and videotaped what was happening. Shin supports her friend, but upon returning home, Hyen realizes that Shin and the girl in the cap who threatened her at the mall are the same person. Meanwhile, Shin visits the girl in a coma and treats her not so well, clearly knowing her secret secrets and dreaming of getting Duan. Then Nin Hein realizes that Shin is actually from a wealthy family but has been blacklisted. A year ago, Shin's father went to prison for financial fraud. The school kids started to humiliate and hurt Shin, but the worst one to do to her was Jenna, since they were best friends until then. In the present tense, Shin is obliged to avoid Jenna and pretend to be inconspicuous, but decides not to do so anymore. She responds defiantly to the richest and most powerful girl in school. Hyen sneaks into the fine arts room to find a videotape compromising her in front of everyone. Shin doesn't hesitate to admit that she's a horrible person and made the tape to blackmail the poor girl. She also claims that her namesake was pushed off the roof by Jenna and Hyen is obliged to testify against her. The girl has seven days to think about it or else Shin will publish the tape of her cross-dressing, which will result in the beggar being disgraced and kicked out of school. Friends ask Duan and Jenba to make up, inviting them to their party. The guy is ready to congratulate them and make up with his friend, but only on the condition that he can invite Hyen. Jenna recalls that shortly before the fall of the girl, she met her on the roof. She was the only one who knew about the rich girl's tragedy but she promised to help expose her father's mistress, who was dating not only the businessman, but also his driver. Jenna visits her mother in the hospital and notices the cuts on her arm, realizing that she was trying to go to another world. The mistress tries to take everything away from them and Jenna decides to fight for her happy future. In the evening, she notices Hyen and asks her not to trust Shin, but it's too late. Not intending to give up, the poor girl asks Duan to pretend to be her boyfriend and also enlists Simon's support. After sneaking into the photo studio, the couple finds memory cards with videos that were secretly filmed by the bad guy. At the same time, Simon beats him up and forces him to delete all the videos as well as access Shin's laptop. Jenna meets her father and is ready to learn how to run a business as she is ready to fight for a happy future with her pregnant stepmother. At night, Hyen decides to watch a video with her name on it, but it turns out that the video is of Duan's girlfriend who fell off the roof. As it turns out, she was not only a poor quiet girl, but also a cheater who cheated on a rich man with his best friend. The next morning, Duan asks Hyen out on a date, 
but Shin continues to blackmail her into testifying against Jenna, telling the police that she was the one who pushed the girl off the school roof. Someone, who is hiding in the restroom, overhears the girl's conversation and promises to help Hyun so that Shin won't blackmail her with a videotape of embarrassing photos. In the evening, Duan and Hyun go to a party to celebrate the anniversary of Jenna's friend's relationship. Hyun wishes she could tell her friend about his girlfriend cheating on him with his best friend, but decides it's best not to. Soon Duan and Jenna quarrel, and the rich girl is blamed for all the troubles. Tired of empty words, the girl tells the whole truth, which she knew and hid all this time. She knew that her best friend was making love to Duan's girlfriend, and also knew that she was blackmailing him for money, because Shin was blackmailing her. After learning the whole truth, Duan gets upset and fights with his friend, and his friend feels humiliated, because she knew everything, but tried to hide it. After the party, Jenna has nowhere to go, so Hyun invites to her place. Noticing that the chain in the hands of the one who fell from the roof was identical to the one given by the friend to his girlfriend, it becomes clear that it was she who pushed the schoolgirl. The girl knew about the boyfriend's cheating and couldn't bear the betrayal. She decided to take the life of a penniless girl who dreamed of a rich life. Shin continues to blackmail Hyun, but the girl asks her for a meeting as she knows the name of the real culprit. She begs Shin for a meeting and goes to the school but at that moment someone unknown pushes her off the roof, causing the girl to sleep forever. Hyun experiences deja vu because not so long ago, she saw a similar situation and does not understand who committed the crime this time. At the same time, the girl who was in coma wakes up and perhaps this will allow to punish all the perpetrators of their crimes.